Hello and welcome to this introduction video on Casia Managed Services, my name is Mark and I will be your host today. I am one of the Casia dedicated account managers that is available to provide one-on-one -on -one training and information for you. A so host it account manager is skilled in providing an action plan on how you can implement managed services to your clients. We can provide both over-the-phone support and copies of pre-made documentation such as SLA agreements that just require you to add your customers' details. Please give us a call and we can have a chat about this. So hostit.com is a managed service hosting company, this means that we provide you with software that is fully hosted ready to use solution. The advantage of buying the Casia solution from SoHostIt.com is that your company does not need to invest the tens of thousands of pounds up front required to purchase the Casia system, nor do you need to worry about purchasing a well-spec server and having a tele housed. SoHostIt.com takes care of all of this for you, then provides you with the option to buy one Casia license at a time. Just before I get started I would like to let you know that when I am referring to a Casia license or Casia agent then I am referring to the piece of software that is installed on each of your client's machines. So for example if you had three Casia licenses this means you would have Casia agents deployed on three individual machines, these machines can be PCs, notebooks, Windows servers or Apple Macs. Now just for those of you that are not familiar with the Casia product I will give you a brief overview and also show you a basic network diagram to help you better understand how the Casia system works. The Casia Managed Solutions Platform software allows you to manage a number of clients' machines across the WAN, or Internet, all from the administrator's portal. In a nutshell Casia lets you manage thousands of individual PCs and servers across multiple networks and gives your support techs the ability to run scripts, monitoring and even reports on your clients' machines so that you can provide meaningful information about the health of their PCs and networks directly to your customers. A number of our clients have gone from just providing help desk support to their clients to providing them with a fully managed solution. This can be great as you can set different service plans and put the client on a fixed monthly billing cycle. Many of our clients have found this to work well not only for themselves having regular monthly money coming in but for their clients as they are able to predict up and coming machine problems in advance saving the client a lot of downtime. The Casia product is very powerful and under the monitoring area you can set up many different profiles that will alert you when there looks to be an up and coming problem with the machine for example machine overheating or machine locking up. You will now see in front of you the SoHostIt.com network demo diagram. Just starting at the top left hand side you will see your help desk support guys computers. This is symbolizing your support facility in this case we have 4 PCs. They are all network connected to the Casia server in your case the Casia server is running in one of Sohost its data centers and your support technicians computers were simply connected via a internet connection. All connections to and from the Casia server are encrypted so there is no chance of a connection ever being hacked. In the middle of the page is a blue bar, this represents the internet and feeding off the internet are a number of client scenarios. I will quickly run through the scenarios with you. Let's take a look at client 1. You can see that the client has a small network connected to the internet via a firewall. Now in most cases to run any type of monitoring software or remote access tools through the internet onto the client's network you would need to set up port forwarding but with the Casia software you simply install an agent on each of the three PCs in one server and let the Casia software sort out the rest for you. It creates an encrypted point-to-point -point tunnel with the Casia server and allows all communication to and from the PC to run over it. This setup also allows you to run programs such as WinVNC, PC Anywhere and Terminal Server. Once again there is no port forwarding needed once the Casia agent is installed on a computer as it creates the link automatically and as you'll see in the demonstration you can access all this from your web-based administration area. Moving on to the Client 2 area. You can see the client has one connection to the internet and two firewalls that split the network straight down the middle. On one side of the network is a bank of servers and a few PC users, and on the other side they have a number of Apple Mac desktops and notebook users. Once again this is not a problem to the Casia agent. Once it is installed it will find its own way back to the Casia server and create a secure point-to-point -point link. 
Should your support guys need to log into any of the servers, PCs or Macs all they do is access the web-based Casia administration area. Click the remote connection button and they are logged directly into the machines, no port forwarding needed and no special configuration for the firewalls. Just above the internet connection you will see we have three different scenarios, a coffee shop, an airport and a DSL home connection. When your mobile users connect via a coffee shop or airport internet connection you have no control over firewalls, this makes it difficult to monitor and access or even provide remote support to these users. But when you have the Casia agent install, it will open a point-to-point -point tunnel straight through the firewall and link back to the Casia server with no issues at all. Once the connection has been made you are able to start doing things like deploy scripts and run maintenance on the machines. If for some reason that mobile users was not logged in at the time you performed a patch upgrade or installed a new piece of software across the network to all the other in-office machines then the KCS server will know this and it will automatically perform the task when the mobile user is logged in. It will then include that mobile user in its completed report. That just about covers it for the SoHostIt.com network demo diagram. Hopefully that part of the presentation was understood but if for some reason you still have questions please feel free to contact one of our dedicated account managers and they will be able to take you through it in more depth. Now I will take you through the Casia administration area. I will just quickly go over the tabs at the top so you can familiarize yourself with the features that are available. The Casia administration platform can be accessed from any Internet Explorer-based PC and even works on some of the latest versions of Firefox. Once you have logged into the Casia system you will see the administration area. As you can see along the top we have 10 tabs, they're all pretty self-explanatory, but I will run through them quickly so that you have a basic understanding of them. The first screen you will see when you log in is the desktop overview of the system. This screen gives you a quick overview of the status of all the machines that are being monitored by the KCS system. The Audit tab displays all of the details related to the machines that you are monitoring. It gives you details like what operating systems are running and what the specifications of the machines that you're monitoring are. You can also do things like block applications and run machine summaries for the client. This is a nice feature and saves you all the time out on site performing this task manually. The next tab at the top we have is scripts. This manages any scripts that you may wish to deploy to the client's machines. There are a number of preset scripts listed for you to use right away or it gives you the ability to build your own scripts to deploy custom applications. Next to the scripts tab you have the monitoring area. The monitoring area is quite an essential part to the Casia system. It allows you to set parameters for the machines you are monitoring, for example you could set up a monitoring rule that says if a machine's hard drive reaches 90% of its capacity then it would send you an alert so that you can notify the customer and put in place an action plan either to clear out some of the data or replace the hard drive with a bigger one. You can quickly and easily set up a monitoring rule for any action on a machine. Moving to the next tab along the top you have ticketing. This is pretty self-explanatory as well basically any support queries that come in will be logged here and give your help disk guys the ability to respond to them. The patch management tab is a useful one when you are running system maintenance on each of your clients machines. Instead of going to each computer individually and checking that all the service packs and Microsoft patches are installed you can just select all of the machines and let Casia do it all for you. This on its own saves hundreds of Man hours and always ensures that the client's machines are up to date. The next tab at the top is the remote control tab. This gives you the ability to remotely log into the client machines and either take control of the PC's mouse and keyboard or run silent tasks in the background like editing the task manager or uploading files to the client machine. Within this area it also has a nice option called video streaming. This lets you log on and take remote control of machines that are not running the Casia client. This can be great if you just have a one-off job on a machine, all you need to do is log into the video streaming area and give the person a URL web address once they have entered the URL into their browser the Casia system will allow you to take control of their mouse and keyboard and display what they have on their screen. Next to the remote control.